Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today's uh, topic is uh, how to lose weight. Jeff and I, of course, know everything. Everything. Jeff and I, of course, know everything. Everything. Or not, but we, we, we like to think we know something. Yeah. So if you're searching for ways to lose weight, we figure, uh, you know, why not a couple of schlubs like yeah. us? I mean, you could ask pretty much anybody on the street. Yeah. Now, here's the reason why I say that. Jeff has never been what I would call fat. I, I've never been over 150. So a hundred. that's 150 pounds. It's yeah. like... Uh, I don't know how many kilos that how is. Many, well, it's like 70, 70 something. 70 kilos, yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever. Uh, so he's never been, but have you Have you ever, but has your your wife who's fairly... Yeah, my wife's got food allergies, and so she eats vegan, which means when I'm home and not traveling, I'm usually eating pretty well. But that's the other thing, though. I just don't, I don't, I don't overeat at all. So that's, that's not really, just, that's not how to, well, that is a way to lose weight. Yeah, I mean, not eating a lot. Yeah, eat less. Yeah. So the, the basic, the basic the fundamental idea is your body, depending on your age and your metabolism and what you're doing throughout the day, um, it's going to burn energy. Mm -hmm. It needs the energy to burn. And if, and if you burn exactly what you, if you take in as much energy as you need to burn, no, if you, if the... <laughs> if you burn the things that come in. If you, it, my, my point yeah, is, yeah. if you if you figure out, uh, I'm hungry, I'm going to eat, and you don't overeat, and you just bring in enough energy, and then you you burn that through the day, yeah. you're you're not going to gain weight. What's the highest caloric intake on one single meal you've ever had? Any idea? I, I don't. I haven't. I can tell you right now, for me, cheesecake factory, shrimp bistro pasta. 2100 calories oh that's it in one city yeah see again this yeah. is a skinny guy he's he's i mean i'm i'll, I'll say I love it. have you been the same weight since you, you're I heavier was, right? I you was, know that yeah, you're married yeah when i got when i got married i was 137 and a half and now you're 150 and now i'm 150 yeah, but I, I have not but i can i I'm, can see it yeah i'm between i, I got a little bit of action yeah. going on here now uh, yeah. mostly because i can't exercise the way i used to due to a back issue but you know if and i get out and walk thing. and you know all that stuff, but uh, but yeah, just uh, I don't I don't eat a lot anymore, not like I used to. Well, it's because you're married to someone who eats food that's awful. Yeah. I, I'm well. I mean, I does she know that what she's eating just is, tastes? It's tough. I mean, she has no choice because her food allergies I mean. are so bad. Yeah. So she has to. I mean, she's learned to like it, you know, and everything. She doesn't miss meat. She doesn't miss dairy. Mostly because if she eats either of those food categories, she'll be sick the next two and or three days. Yeah, I mean, you get so sick yeah. that it's not, it's, it's, not it's not hard for you yeah. to, to... Not uh, appetizing at all. ...to resist it. Yeah. Now, is she a gluten-free type person, yeah. too? gluten-free, uh, But she doesn't have free. celiac, does she? No, I don't think so. Don't That's think more so. just a choice. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, see, my wife has a lot of allergies. There's a lot of things that she can't eat, but... Um, but she's not a vegan or even a vegetarian. She still can eat, and she, you know. But I, so, so we both, she and I both, have gotten into the over the last twenty years or more, you know, losing weight. Yeah. And uh, basically, what I've found um, is that there's so many things that diet plans and so many attitudes and 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 things that people books that people write and. And it seems like everyone that I know that's lost weight has tried one or the other or all of them. Mm -hmm. um, there's prepared meals, there's calorie counting, there's accountability, there's going to meetings and talking about your weight and all that stuff. But um, from now, just, just just me personally, you know, don't eat. I mean, if you want to yeah. lose weight like right away, yeah, stop eating. Yeah, right now, not completely yeah. fast. Some people do intermittent fasts. I've seen a friend of mine online who does intermittent fasts and. I think he works out a lot, but you have to basically, the basics are exercise more or burn more mm -hmm. than what you're taking in. Yeah. So usually it's through exercise because you can burn a lot of calories in an hour if you're running. Yeah. There's no secret. It's, it's, it's eat right and exercise. That's, that's, that's what it. it is. And for me, one of the big things and that's... And sleep. Uh, yeah. Sleep, exercise, sleep. eat right. Like that book by, by Tom Rath, Eat, Move, Sleep, right? That's, it's, that's all he talks about I, in the whole I, book. I don't read right? that, I, but that <laughs> no. sounds like a good idea. So the thing that I, 
two things come to mind. First of all, I went just to water years ago. No more pop. No oh, more yeah, sugar yeah, yeah. drink, oh, stuff like that. Yes, that was yes. the first big thing. And it's so easy now. It's not even an issue. But second, and I just did this a few months ago, I cut out as much extra sweets and sugars as I could Another at work. One. You know, we've, yeah. we've got this whole drawer for the team at work. There's the cookies from the Girl Scouts. There's the, the little chocolate balls of wonder. You know, yeah. all of the stuff in there. And, yeah. and so I, I just stay away from that stuff. And I just put substitutes. I've got a, a really great trail mix on my desk. I've got, I go get a Cliff Bar at Harmon's or whatever. It's just substituting, you know, really the, the bad stuff for good stuff. Well, now here's another thing, too. A lot of you might be thinking, yeah, but I like the bad stuff. It tastes good. Well, and who I don't, doesn't? I, I, you know, yeah. is there any way that I can, be, you know, be thin or look good um, and still eat that junk? A, no. B, <laughs> yes. If you're willing to pay the price on the other side of the equation, which yeah. is, are you willing to burn it off and then some every day or, or very regularly? I used to, I knew a girl that I worked with who started an organization called um, Cookie Athletes. I think mm. it was called the Cookie Athlete wow. Club or something. And basically the title, you know, they're Cookie Athletes, meaning we work out or specifically we run so that we can eat cookies and other junk <laughs> and fat and stuff that we like. And really, that mentality, I'm sure that there are health issues, even when you're thin and eating junk food, definitely. Yeah. But, but really, it was fairly simple. They had a cookie, a cookie athlete 5K they did, and I got the shirt because I ran it with them, and it said, freeze your cookies off because they were running it in the winter. Hmm. And basically, they would all get together, bundle up, and go run these 5K and just, you know, run hard, and then come back and have cookies or ice cream or whatever they wanted yeah. as the treat. Hmm. And it's, I kind of live that way a little bit because I still love cold cereal. Pizza. Pizza, cold cereal, you know, uh, peanut butter toast. And I like it at 11.30 p.m., <laughs> <laughs> which is another way to lose weight. Rah. Stop eating at night. Yeah. You know, set a limit when you're going to shut down and turn off. It's kind of like don't drink after 7 or 7.30. Don't drink any water unless you want to plan on getting up, you know, in the middle of the night. And then drinking water is a big way, too. Because yeah. you said, yeah. I switched to water away from carbonated drinks and sugar and all those calories, which is true. I knew a guy that was a cameraman years ago at a TV station I worked at who was, you'd look at him and you'd go, that's a, that's a fat man. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't huge, but he was a big, you know, had the big pear shape. And I hadn't seen him for about six months, and I ran into him again somewhere else, and he, he looked like you. Jeez. And I said, Dennis, what okay. is that you? What did you do? He said, I stopped drinking Mountain Dew every day, wow. which was his thing. He had the big gulp or the ultra big gulp, and he'd fill that sucker two or three times a day. Jeez. He said, I, I took pop out of my life, wow. and and he said, that's it. That was the major change that I did, nothing else. Mm -hmm. and you know, so, that's that's like for me, it's not, it's not like cold turkey, you know, I got to do it all. I, for me, it started with the water. Okay, great, I got the water mastered. Now I'm going to move to the sweets. Great, got that mastered. And now... Uh, I, I, you know, be, my wife being who she is, uh, I, you know, unless I'm at work, I'm not eating meat. Uh, it, it's all plant-based at home for me, and I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get to 100% plant-based, you know. But, but, but it's just, it just comes in steps, yeah, for you because steps. because you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't think there's any reason to be completely militant unless you know your own well-being and staying alive depends on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But if you can get away with the, and most people will tell you, you know, be militant for six days, and then on the seventh day, you know, give yourself a break, eat some other things, you know, reward yourself. Mm -hmm. But eat right, regular exercise, you know, and, and eat moderately the things that you do eat. And really at the heart of it, it's control and discipline for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, it's learning, self-control, and discipline. And if you write the goals down, you set them, and you hold yourself accountable, whether it's drinking more water, whether it's eating less desserts or none at all, whether it's exercising more incrementally. Now, the big thing, and we'll wrap up because it's time to be done, but um, the the apps on your iPhones and mm -hmm. your smartphones these days, I have uh, Track My Run, yeah. I have My Health Buddy, or my... There's my water, that's how much water I've drunk. Oh my goodness, today. what in the world is that? Yeah, I'm only halfway there. <laughs> Is it sloshing around? Yeah, he's kind of sloshy-washy. What's that one called? Yeah, it's called Waterminder, I think. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, I think most people nowadays, a lot of people are getting a lot of success out of uh, My Health 
buddy, my fitness yeah, pal. Yeah. I can't. I have all it. I use it. Yeah. But it's a tracker for your calories, all yeah. of your intake, and then also your the calories that you've burned through exercise. Plus, most people's smartphones have a, a step tracker, mm -hmm. so you can kind of calculate how you're doing throughout the day. You do that for two weeks, one week, three days, five months, a year. Uh, you'll start to find over all of those periods of time that if you have a bit of discipline, it'll start to come off. Mine's actually come back on. I'm a fat pig. Like I've, I, I, I did a play for about f four months, rehearsals, performances. I lost 12 pounds just doing all that extra work at night, and uh, now it's back. And uh, I either need to do a play or get <laughs> liposuction, have half of my gut. Or eat right and exercise and sleep. Eh, not disciplined enough. If you like our little uh, the advice that we've shared, um, good. Do it. <laughs> Don't subscribe. Just do it. Don't subscribe. Tell your friends. It's, it's exciting.